Him, the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. I looked at this saint of the day, and I don't know about him, so I'm going to read about him. It sounds like he's a French saint, so hopefully he can help us today. I know Pope Benedict is helping us from heaven. I know he's helping me to maneuver through these end times. we got to uh, accept that we're probably going to go into this cashless society, and all Catholics and all people who don't want to take the mark of the beast are going to be either sent to concentration camps or they're gassed to death, or uh, you're going to be hidden in a refuge. And uh, like I said before, we got to expect martyrdom at this point, but prepare fervently for the era of a peace. That means getting all our, uh, you know, getting our soul prepared, getting our refuges prepared, this and that. Are they suffering for what they're doing to Ash and I? Oh, yes. They are completely suffering for separating us. Unjustly, because I totally wanted my son. And they're, because I did not abort Asher, my mother teamed up with the father's family to harass me with my son by brainwashing him, having him sue me and stuff. And that is wrong. And that's just another unfortunate uh, fallout from the sin of abortion, these bad laws. Now, if you choose not to abort, the family will come and harass you indefinitely through these laws of child support and stuff. And I was talking, I was emailing Father Frank, 
Pavone about this, and I'm sure he's heard these stories a lot, where a woman gets raped and then the rapist comes back and sues her for child support, so then she's bankrupted, and, be, and uh, you know, and her son or daughter is turned against her, or in my case, turned into yay rights, and have all these witches thrown on him, and that is wrong, let me tell you. That is a perversion of a perversion. And my mother and the son's father will suffer even damnation in hell for doing that. That's what they don't get. They're too busy laughing because they are literally possessed by the devil through this Freemasonry cult that they've uh, aspired to. And the bishop and the priest can't wait to jump in line with them. And they're alcoholics and stuff. And you wonder, well, this is an anomaly, Anna. This can only happen in Portland, Oregon and all these yay right places. And I'm telling you, this is no longer an anomaly. Down the street where I live, these priests are just as heartless to people and to the American people, especially are getting hosed by the devil, you know? I think the devil wants to destroy America because America was always consec consecrated to our lighting because the laws that were established in America were so beautiful, you know? And they were it's such in line with how people could have, could um, spread the gospel and preach the word and how all these Jesuits come in and build missions and the devil just hated that. So he was always from the very beginning hoping to destroy America. And it's really the people who are falling into these sins, causing so many troubles, you know? And like I was saying before, I even had to come to the acceptance that I will never see my son again. That's how crazy my mother is. And it's because she doesn't honor her own mother. She doesn't honor the blessed mother. She doesn't honor her own deceased mother. So she's going to try to tear apart that mother-child bond that you can't really tear apart, you know. The most I can do is do the reparation prayers at this point and just hope for the best, but brace yourself for the worst, you know. Because in my dream, Asher came to me as an angel, an angelic, in about the age of 12. And from that, I understood that our Lord himself would send a plague on the Heifetz family in the form of that child plague to take Asher because they weren't, they weren't teaching Asher to honor his mother and they weren't giving him back. They were doing the whole kidnapping thing to the courts with my mother. And so they will continue to suffer. Because when you suffer for the devil, believe me, the suffering, it really just does not end. 